Thank you. not taking any more. <laughs> I wish, uh, broth. Man, I like bone broth. You ever, you ever Sip down a new bone broth? Yeah? <laughs> what weirdo? I said I liked it, I never drink it. It's cool though. The death of the queen, I mean, being from America, I'm still pretty happy about that. <laughs> I mean, it's just the celebration hasn't stopped, to be honest. It's, you gotta see people running around just, woo! You know, time for a king. Everyone's, <laughs> yeah! It's kind of nice that that guy just kind of gets to step in right there towards the end of his life. And, <laughs> with his fucking fat fingers and... What a lucky guy, right? <laughs> Death of the queen, broth. Broth is such a, it's a process really to kind of get in the broth, you know, you gotta, well, first of all, you gotta get a bone. Which, you know, human bones. I mean, that's honestly, how would you even know? You know, like I, like I feel like, yeah, if it's meat, I'd be like, eh, I think that's a human, but bone-wise, fucking cares, man. <laughs> but that, what are they, what is in bones, by the way? It's like, they, like, people like suck stuff out of bone, marrow. Yeah, I didn't ask. <laughs> Thank you, though. It was a rhetorical question. Um... Supersonics. Supersonics. Well, the Supersonics are a basketball team that they just said, like, ah, we're good. <laughs> um, I'm from Seattle, so I was kind of around for that. And I don't... Um... Okay, so the Sonics played in Seattle, and I grew up on the east side of Seattle where Microsoft kind of... It was starting when I was young. I'm... 40, I can't, something, 42, 40, almost 43. And Microsoft was just starting and my parents became members of this club called the Pro Sports Club. And it was a workout gym and it was just a trailer. It was like, just like, like basically like an empty RV with like a treadmill in it. And it cost like 20 bucks a month. And then Microsoft started across the street and Microsoft bought the Pro Sports Club and it became the nicest club, like the nicest place in Washington, and we just got grandfathered in. We were now just members of the pro club. And it was like tennis pros and all this stuff, and, and the Sonics started training there in the summer. So the Sonics would train there, and then they'd be in like the locker room and shit. And if you're in the locker room at the pro club, basically you're sitting down, and there's just men watching ESPN naked on leather chairs. It's just, that's the whole locker room. And also fucking Sean Kemp with his dick out, just like walking around. And I just remember one time I was peeing and Sean Kemp was peeing right next to me. And, and I just kind of did like a... It's just not right, you know? And, and I, I, I often wonder if he did the same to me. And what kind of an ego boost he got. My dad and my, um, my godfather, 
growing up had like a back and forth of pantsing each other. <laughs> you know pantsing, where you just pull someone's pants down, and that's a thing? So like they would do it to each other in situations that were funny. So like I have twin brothers, brothers that are twins, they're younger than me, and um, my dad was holding two twins and a grocery bag and was trying to hand one off to Jim, my godfather, at a grocery store, and he just pantsed my dad. <laughs> and my dad wore a jock strap, like a baseball cup without the cup in it. I don't, no one ever knew why he wore that. <laughs> That was just what he wore. Such a weird thing from my childhood where, you know, it's one of those things like, did he wear that? But, so there was pantsing and then finally one day we were at the pro club and we were in the pool and they had an Olympic sized pool and it was really a beautiful pool. And my dad is in the water and he sees Jim. And so my dad goes underwater and comes up from behind Jim and I'm in the pool and I'm watching and it's like a fucking, like, a shark attack is happening underwater. You just see, like, hitting his hands, hands. My dad is just pulling everything he can underwater. And he comes up, he can't get his pants down, and he looks over, and Jim is sitting on the side of the pool. This was just a guy. And my dad doesn't wear his glasses, so he couldn't fucking see. And it was like, it was just... <laughs> I will never forget what, I mean, that's like, it's like they could have used that in Jaws or something, <laughs> honestly, the way that that goes. But yeah, I saw Sean Kemp's dick. What are you going to do? <laughs> also, I saw, um, who's the guy that took over um, Steve Ballmer? Saw his dick. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, a guy from America's bragging. <laughs> Who wants to show me their dick? <laughs> Thank you very much. I think that's how it's supposed to go. I don't know. I got lit, right? Yeah. Nick Thune, ladies and gentlemen. All right. We're going to take a couple suggestions together, see what we can do with them. Oh, man, I'm so... Excited? No, I, I actually didn't know what word to say there. Hey, that's what I'm here for. Yep. I think this is going to be a pretty good three minutes. I've heard that before. <laughs> and I've said it a hundred times. Uh, what do we got? What do we got? Oh! Endangered species, I heard. Burning Man. Burning Man. Uh, yeah. That voice matches the suggestion. Uh -huh. <laughs> what uh, does that mean? I, I just want to know, because everyone laughed and I don't think it fucking made sense. <laughs> oh, I, I turn on him. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> Nick! I just, just want to know, because she said that and it sounded like a normal fucking voice to me, man. Nick, I'm your partner, man. We're trying to help each other out out here. I like working alone. <laughs> you started a film noir. That's when Jeremiah really messed up. <laughs> he had no idea. I hated his guts the second I saw him earlier this evening. Endangered species, man. Endangered wow. species. It's, it's really sad, to be honest, that they're in such danger. <laughs> yeah, uh... Uh, I think that uh, there's a lot of um, felines that are going extinct. Uh, there's certain um, there's certain uh, insects that go extinct. The, yeah. bald, the bald eagle is the first bird that I can think of that is is nearing. Yeah, you know. I know, and that makes me feel like shit. With my, I've got a bald eagle feathered jacket. <laughs> And it's like, uh. But does it look good? Oh my God, yeah. <laughs> you should see it with my koala pants. <laughs> There's people that think pandas are fake, and I'm one of them. 
<laughs> you think that there's somebody inside a mascot costume in there? Yeah, man. What are they doing? They're out. Listen, if Panda Express exists, I mean, it can't be a real place. Panda Express now is serving vegan options. Tell me more. Uh, well, I wish I could, but that's all I got. <laughs> Uh, are you an orange chicken guy when you go to Panda Express? What do you get? I would have to go to find out. <laughs> Honestly, I would have to go there to, to see what it is that I would get. Do you not dip your toes in the mall kiosk food? I have not. I mean, I technically don't eat meat. But do you eat Panda? Human. I eat I bone broth, of course. I, I, bone broth's not meat. That's just bone. And that's how it started. <laughs> Years ago, <laughs> I had my taste of a little bone broth mm -hmm. and went really far. I went really hard. Uh, what else? I want more. Yeah. Five p.m. nap. Five p.m. nap. What up? <laughs> I'm all about that nap. Life. I'm actually. I'm sorry. Did you say five p.m. or did you say seventeen hundred hours? <laughs> Because I'm on military time. <laughs> Nick, are you still with me? Nick, Nick. No, 1700. Uh, Nick, Nick. Uh, these damn panda bears are everywhere. <laughs> I don't know. I like a nap. I mean, at five o'clock. Does it help you? Does a short nap, like some people can take those, you know, those those power naps are like 15 to 20 minutes, or are you a guy that takes like, you got to take an hour or two hours to really knock it out? Well, I, listen, I don't want to brag, but um, I like a short nap, and I know that's a big brag, but the long nap for me is like, I'm able to do the short nap. If you're not able, that's the problem, because mm -hmm. you need to be able to control, you know, everything. Do you have, an, do you set an alarm on your phone? Yeah. That's why I actually, military time, my phone is on that because it used to not, you used to not be able to set, like, um, it, if you, like, set your alarm for 7 a.m., it could accidentally be 7 p.m. Ah. Uh. And so I used to have to start doing military time because I'm a fucking idiot <laughs> and wasn't fully watching. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. <laughs> that and um, I worked at Old Navy. And <laughs> you do not. <laughs> You're telling me that Old Navy is so strict they use military time there? Yeah. You don't want to show up work at fucking 5 a.m., you know, <laughs> when your shift starts at 1,700 hours. You walk in. <laughs> you do a s salute the manager. And then when they turn around, no respect. I, li right? I like the idea yeah. of people joining Old Navy thinking it's the actual Navy. <laughs> you know what I mean? They're, they're saluting jeans that are like <laughs> like uh, up in, in, in the, the rafters of Old Navy. Yeah. The folding is like very military style as they're putting them on, you know? Your grandfather with Alzheimer's is just in there with his uniform on. <laughs> like, this is what, what is this, a VFW? Back in my day, <laughs> it was a real Navy I was a part he's, of. As he's folding a shirt. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're like, can I go now? <laughs> <laughs> no, that's four more hours for you. Four score. I, I was just thinking four score and seven years ago. Abraham Lincoln. Did he say four score and seven years? Four score and seven years ago. Oh. Our forefathers, yeah. It's all... It, it, it's funny because it'd be like, be a great foreskin joke there, I feel like. <laughs> foreskin and seven inches ago. <laughs> I was a Gentile. <laughs> Do you think there's step forefathers out there? Oh, God, yeah. Yeah, and that's a tough life. It is. You know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah, I mean, the, uh, and as far as the forefathers go, I mean, which four were they? I don't, you know, I, I, I always wondered. <laughs> that's I, just let's just delete that. <laughs> delete it. I'm just being brave. Our last suggestion together. Yes. 
What do we got? Honda. Hondas, and that guy wants to know about other athletes' dicks. <laughs> Did you say Gary Payton's dick? Didn't see it. I would have remembered the glove. Do you think he had a, a special condom that he wore? Yeah, I mean, I know he wore a glove when he jerked off. You ever done that? Jerked off? You can tell us. <laughs> I uh, I did jerk off in a condom once. Yeah? Yeah, I, I really did. Uh, it was before I had ever had sex, and I was like, this is what it's going to feel like, right? <laughs> <laughs> I jerked off in a condom over a toilet. <laughs> <laughs> and weird enough, it's the exact same feeling, guys. Yeah. Safe. Yeah, you're a safe guy. I used to. I just, thought you were calling I me safe. To, yeah, <laughs> and safe. Yeah. yeah, I used to. I I used to jerk off into socks. Mm. My friend did that and got. Whoa. <laughs> what? He's like I. He's like I used to jerk okay, off. Okay, that's jokes. enough. <laughs> that's what <he> said. <laughs> yeah. No, wait, you're doing a good thing there. Yeah. Don't do my, it. My my friend uh, he jerked off into a sock. No lie got athlete's foot on his dick. <laughs> and I that was when I was like, I need better friends. <laughs> I mean, I don't know, an athletic dick? <laughs> mm -hmm. I think you're onto something. <laughs> but I, I, what about Honda, though? Someone said Honda. Yeah, Honda. What yep. do you think we should do about that, sir? Come on, give us the punchlines, too. <laughs> you ever have a Honda? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Yeah, what, yeah. I've like been a Honda Acura guy for a while. I tr currently well, you drive know there are two different types of cars. They have the same engine. Okay. So do they make a Honda Acura? Uh, well, there's Honda engines inside Acura mm. cars. And does Honda know about that? <laughs> Guys, keep it going for Nick Thune. Yeah. Ha ha ha, loft.